Hey, my name is Mitchell. Uh, I'm currently doing like native mobile apps with Xamarin, so I don't get to use F Sharp much, but when I do, it's quite rare. So um, I just kind of went through the news of the last month and pulled out a few things that I kind of find interesting. So if you're new to F Sharp anyway, there is now a Twitter site course up, which kind of takes care of just getting the started. And our Lord and Saviour Don Syme has been given a medal from the Royal <laughs> Academy of Engineering. Uh, if you want to get F Sharp on .NET Native, uh, you can go to here. So Visual Studio now has like a kind of like a voting form where you can vote for things. So if .NET Native is important to you in any way, please go here and support the uh, cause. Uh, Visual Studio 2015 will also be coming out on the 20th of this month. Uh, you can, in 2015, you can get F Sharp 4. I don't know if F Sharp 4 will be released by then, or if it has been. I haven't been following it. <laughs> Much. Yeah, Despite it's the fact that I'm giving the news, I haven't been following that part. Yeah, uh, it's in 2015. Uh, yeah, so the 4 is coming out with the release of the studio. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, so you'll get 4, the official release of 4. Uh, there is now a Yeoman F Sharp generator for projects, which um, I actually have to personally start contributing towards because Xamarin Studio's F Sharp support actually crashes Xamarin Studio sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm sure that those guys are working on it, but uh, sometimes I have to create stuff outside of the editor to actually get it to work. Does Xero know what Yeoman is? Ah, oh, yeah, Yeoman. Does anyone know what that is? No one knows what Yeoman is. How are we Yeoman is this wonderful um, scaffolding tool. So if you want to start a project, there's lots of boilerplate you have to go through. Visual Studio does a, a pretty good job of getting some of the boilerplate out of the way. But like in F Sharp, especially on Mac, these templates almost don't exist. So getting up and started for a project can be a little bit tricky. So the Yeoman generator should help with that quite a bit. Uh, iOS 9 has F Sharp support, because Xamarin has first class support for compiling it, not so much for writing it, unfortunately. Uh, the other thing was F Sharp is a really good language if you want to be paid a lot of money, apparently. <laughs> so it's probably the highest paying .NET language at the moment. Uh, if anyone has some F Sharp openings, please pick up now. <laughs> no, no, that's why we're all here. <laughs> and all the talks from NDC Oslo about F Sharp are up as well as the other ones if you want to watch them. <laughs> so these are the kind of the things that I found interesting over the last month. There's a whole heap of other stuff that you can find on this blog here. So it's just the F Sharp Weekly, so just Google that and you can find all the other things that I'm not really interested in. <laughs> cool. Thank you.